Have you ever seen a dirty aircraft? Believe it or not, they do get dirty. This is why all commercial planes, no matter the size, must be cleaned as frequently as two to five times a year. The same goes for military aircraft, but they get a proper shower at least once a month, especially if they're in the middle of the ocean. How do people clean an aircraft? It sounds really hard, but the question is, why do we even wash the aircraft? There are three main reasons. First of all, it's a matter of profits for airline companies. An aircraft that hasn't seen a proper wash for months actually lowers the company's overall ticket sales. A dirty aircraft makes people doubtful of its safety and quality of service. So for airline companies, keeping their planes clean and tidy is essential for high profits. The second reason is less obvious. It's fuel savings. It will sound strange, but layers of dirt on an aircraft's body can actually produce drag and even disturb the airflow of the whole structure. It directly decreases the plane's speed and consumes more fuel to fly regular distances. The final reason is maintenance. It's challenging for workers to spot damages or cracks on an aircraft's body when it's covered in dirt. Even one small crack can pose an imminent danger to a plane full of passengers, so it's always necessary to have a clean airplane. So, how do we clean the aircraft? There are two ways, the traditional way and the modern way. Starting with the traditional way, it sounds just as you'd think. It is cleaned with mops, brooms, and tons of soapy water. The real challenge is to clean enormous planes like the Boeing 777. Such beasts may require an eight-hour work shift of 10 people. It's good that cleaners have enough boom and scissors lifts and a bunch of instruments at their disposal to make the plane shiny. The cleaning process is straightforward. Firstly, the windows and doors of the plane are sealed with duct tape that won't let water and chemicals get inside. Then the aircraft is rinsed with cleaning chemicals and brushed with soapy water. The soap is also a chemical in itself. It penetrates the deepest layers of dirt and makes it easier to clean it off. This soap is especially helpful in the dirtiest places on the aircraft. It's not the engine, wings, or even the tail, but its belly. It wouldn't be the case if not for the landing gear. During landings and takeoff, the landing gears kick off dirt and a hydraulic fluid onto the belly. Cleaners need to put extra effort into cleaning it. However, this traditional way is extremely water-consuming. On average, cleaning the whole body requires anywhere between 500 and 3,000 gallons of water. You could fill up a small pool with this much water. This is why companies started to rely more on dry washing, which utilizes various chemicals. In this case, cleaners must wear protective clothing throughout the process. In the end, the plane is rinsed with water and the tapes can then be removed. Now the plane looks as good as new. However, cleaners are slowly leaving the picture. Today, companies rely more on the modern way of cleaning with the help of robots. This is Nordic Dino, a remote-controlled robot that cleans the entirety of the aircraft thanks to the three extendable arms. These arms can clean the aircraft up to 40 feet tall and reach hard-to-clean places on their body. The robot requires only one person, an operator who overlooks the process and keeps his eye out on the robot. It's not the only robot that can clean the aircraft. MSG, for example, built a car wash, but for planes. Just taxi your aircraft to the hangar and let it rest there. In a matter of a couple of hours, the robots will make the plane shine like a diamond. We can see a growing demand for such robots. Companies began embracing more of this technology despite its high prices. But why do companies prefer them more than human cleaners? In 2020, jetliner companies were met with a massive personnel shortage. Many workers, including aircraft cleaners, left the company because of extremely hard work and low pay. After the pandemic, companies are desperate to fill the crucial gap. Hence, robots are becoming increasingly popular. They're the only solution for an aviation industry to replace human labor. Robots will soon become a huge part of this industry. We'll see much more innovation like this in the near future.